Let's move on. 15 states plan to fight the new health care law. If one Republican congressional candidate gets her way, Mississippi will join the fray. Angela McGlowan joins us now. Officially a candidate for congressional seat in Mississippi. Angela, you're an old friend of this program. Welcome back. Good to see you again. Thank you so much for having me, Stuart. Thank you. Uh, I want to know about, look, the, the official policy of the Republican Party is, you're a Republican, the official policy mm -hmm. is repeal health care and replace it. Now, if that's your platform and you're moving towards the November election, are you pulling in much money to support that platform, you, Angela McGlown? I am pulling in some fundraising money, but Stuart, it's much more than about money dealing with this campaign. The bottom line is this, the reason why you have certain attorney generals that are suing uh, the administration is because this health care legislation is unconstitutional. Where does it state in our Constitution that taxpayers have to pay for publicly, publicly funded health care? It doesn't state it anywhere. And my future constituents would rather have jobs well, stored to be yeah, able to pay for their health care the instead challenge. of have their taxes raised. That, that's the legal yes. challenge. You go on Constitution, yes. that's the legal challenge. What about the political yes. challenge where the Republicans are saying, repeal this thing and replace it? Is that a popular political platform that you're approaching for the November elections? It's not only a very popular one. Two Democrats in my state, Gene Taylor and Travis Childers, both voted against Obamacare because they know in November there will be a referendum on health care. And Democrats that support this bill, more than likely, they will be voted out. In Harry Reid's district, our state, this past weekend, you had people go to Searchlight, his hometown, to vote him out as the Senate leader. So not only is this a popular issue, it's also an issue, yes, that can raise money, and raising money does win campaigns, but at the end of the day, the American people would rather have jobs than have this health care reform bill crammed down their throats, Stuart. And you're standing as a Republican in Mississippi. I believe you would, if elected, am I right in saying that you would be the first black woman Republican elected from Mississippi? Or is yes, it... sir. Yes, I, I would be. I would be. And I'm the only candidate in this state that has called on our Attorney General to sign on to uh, the, the, the process to sue uh, Obamacare, to sue this administration to stop this legislation. We don't want it. All right. Angela McGlowan, you make your position very clear. Always a pleasure. Thank Come you and see so us much. again soon. Thanks very Thank much. You. I will. Thank